Hey guys, HTV here. Now, as we all know, Pokemon evolve, and through the years of all the brand new Pokemon games, we've been blessed with a bunch of amazing Pokemon evolutions. However though, have you ever stepped back and thought that maybe some Pokemon evolutions never actually made the cut? Well, you'd actually be right in saying that. There are a bunch of Pokemon evolutions that never made the final games. So in today's video, we're going to be going over 10 Pokemon evolutions that got cancelled. Now of course, if you are excited for this video, please do drop a like down below. I really do appreciate it and I'll be sure to make another part 2 to this if you guys enjoy it. Be sure to leave a comment down below as well with your favourite Pokemon evolution that did get cancelled and be sure to subscribe as well if you are brand new because I do daily Pokemon content on this channel. With all of that out of the way though guys, let's get into the video and take a look at some Pokemon evolutions that unfortunately got cancelled. So starting things off as our first cancelled Pokemon evolution is actually a starter Pokemon. Now we all know Chikorita's evolution line, Chikorita evolves to Bayleaf and then evolves to Meganium, happy days. However though that was not always the case, in fact Chikorita was supposed to evolve into something known as Blossomol. This hideous creature on your screen right now, though I don't understand where the design came from. It looks nothing like Chikorita and it looks nothing like something that would evolve into Meganium. But for some reason, it happened. And I don't know why. Luckily though, Bayleaf did take its place, which actually looks like something that would evolve from Chikorita and then again into Meganium. But I don't know whose idea was it to come up with Blossomol. But unfortunately, it happened. But luckily, there was light at the end of the tunnel and Bayleaf did take the first place spot for that evolution line. It's just another grass type as well for Blossom Mole. It isn't a different typing. It just unfortunately looks hideous. But thank God that Bayleaf is around today. Coming up next, we actually have a pre-evolution. There were a bunch of baby Pokemon designed for Gold and Silver in the beta games, but a lot of them did not make the cut. And one of those was unfortunately Vulpix's pre-evolution known as Trifox. I'm a huge fan of this Pokemon and I would love it if it actually was a thing because I love the fact that it's Trifox, it's got three tails, and then it evolves into obviously Vulpix, and then into nine tails, who's got nine tails. It just makes sense with the names. And Trifox is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. I think it's adorable and I really wished it did just make the cut of the games. I don't know why they chose Smoochum to make the final cut and not Trifox, but unfortunately they did. I'm a huge fan of Trifox and you never know, they may always bring him back later on in the games, but hey, Trifox unfortunately did not make the cut, which definitely saddens me. Coming up next, we have another pre-evolution. I'm actually kind of glad that this didn't make the cut because I'm not really too bothered about it at all, but it is a Pokemon evolution that did get cancelled. Now, I'm talking about Golpi, the pre-evolution of Goldeen, which then, of course, evolved into Seeking. There was actually quite a few baby Pokemon, as I said, in the Gold and Silver beta, but when you just look at it, to be fair, it's not really something that is really going to be missed at all. All it is is a smaller Goldeen. That's all it is. Yes, it is another baby Pokemon that did get cancelled, but at the end of the day, I'm not bothered that this thing didn't make the cut. I would much rather have Trifox than Golpi. It's just another water type. It doesn't have a different typing or anything like that. It is just a pre-evolution of Goldeen. Goldeen and Seeking aren't even that well-loved anyway in the Pokemon scene, so Golpi not existing isn't really going to make us lose sleep. Coming up next, we have, you guessed it, another pre-evolution. There's going to be a lot of pre-evolutions in this video, but we actually have the pre-evolution of Paris known as Para. Yep, all they did was just take the S off Paris and just give it a baby Pokemon form. Para doesn't really look that cool. I mean, it's kind of nice that it comes out of Mushroom and then the Mushroom kind of evolves onto its back, but the Mushrooms get smaller and then they get bigger again for Parasect. Not really sure about the thought process for this evolution line, but hey, Para did get scrapped and you know, it's pretty cute, don't get me wrong, but again, just like Golpi, I'm not going to be losing any sleep over not seeing this thing. Coming up next, again, you know, I feel like I'm a broken record at this point, another pre-evolution, but this one is actually very, very interesting because this is a pre-evolution of Ditto. We all know about Ditto transforms into everything, and then that's kind of it, you know, it's used for breeding a lot, but it was actually supposed to have a pre-evolution at one point named Animon, still a normal type Pokemon. It's just kind of Ditto with a mouth that's a lot bigger without arms, I guess and it's got a, some sort of horn. 
But uh, yeah, Animo was actually supposed to be a thing. I don't know how they would have incorporated it into the games because surely it would have just got transformed just like Ditto unless they were going to do something else with Ditto in Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver. But that was, of course, not the case. I think this was mainly scrapped because they didn't really know how they were going to just work it into the games. Because to be fair, a pre-evolution of Ditto is just going to do exactly what Ditto does, just with worse stats. So what's the point of it? Don't get me wrong, I would have loved Animon and it looks like a cute little Ditto pre-evolution which is exactly what it is but at the end of the day it wasn't really needed that much so i'm pretty sure that's why it was scrapped coming up next yep i know another pre-evolution who would have thought it well we actually have the pre-evolution of the doduo line so we obviously have doduo and dodrio but we also have chicks as well which i actually really like i think it's the cutest little pokemon ever um the heads are kind of like all glued together. I don't know if they move, but there's three little heads there. You can kind of see it on the design. So they obviously got the two front ones and you got the one at the back with like the beak as well. I don't know how much they move because they kind of just all stuck together. Then of course that evolves into Doduo who loses a head and then evolves back into Dodrio who gets the head again. So I have no idea why that was actually a thing. I think this would have definitely made more sense if it just had one head. Then it would have gone into two heads. Then it would have gone into three heads. That would have made sense to me because as it evolves it gets more heads but to go from three heads to two to three don't really know why they went with that but of course chicks did not make the final cut it's just a normal flying type pokemon as well just like doduo and dodrio but yeah it's a cute little bird that unfortunately did not make the cut into pokemon gold and pokemon silver up next is a pokemon that a lot of people really did wish existed since this whole gold and silver beta thing did get released and that is the pre-evolution of meowth known as meowzy Meowzy looking like the cutest little cat ever. I don't know why it's got coins floating above its head, but hey, maybe they had an idea behind that. It's not a psychic type or anything. It's just a normal type, just like Meowth and Persian. But I think they actually went with this design, obviously, because Pichu was a pre-evolution of Pikachu, and they're kind of polar opposites, aren't they? Pikachu and Meowth, you know, cat and mouse, they're, diff they're opposite numbers in the Pokedex, everything like that. So the fact that Pikachu was getting a pre-evolution in Pichu probably prompted them to be like, oh, we may as well just give Meowth one as well. And that's why Meowzy was born. Unfortunately, it did not make the final games, which is super upsetting, because I think it would have been just a really awesome Pokemon just to see. Um, but yeah, unfortunately for the whole Meowth evolution line, didn't get Meowzy, but luckily they did get some Alolan form, so I guess, hey, it's each to their own. Coming up next, we have another pre-evolution fire type Pokemon that I really wish was in Pokemon Gold and Silver, and it is the pre-evolution of Ponyta, known as Minicorn. Now, this is actually kind of interesting because as we all know, Ponyta is a fire type Pokemon, and so is Rapidash, but Minicorn was actually a normal type Pokemon. Don't know where they got it from because it's just a smaller Ponyta, like that's literally the design. As you can see, it is just a smaller Ponyta, which kind of makes sense as a pre-evolution, but I don't know why it's typing as normal and then it got fire later on. I mean, the, the Pokemon still has fire on its head, as it's like main kind of thing and then it also has a fire tail so i don't know why it's not a fire type maybe they just wanted to mix things up the actual sprite as well in game actually looks a lot like ponyta sprite as well so i don't think they really did too much with this thing they just literally put it in photoshop well not photoshop but you know what i mean and then just went Zzz. And then that's all they did. And then they changed the type. That's, that's kind of all they did with this Pokemon. I still love the design of it though. And I wish it did make the final cut. Because I think it's kind of interesting being a normal type. And then obviously evolving into Ponyta as a fire type. But unfortunately did not make the final games. Coming up next we have another pre-evolution baby Pokemon. Like I said there was a bunch of baby Pokemon in the Gold and Silver Beta. Like so many more that I've not actually gone over in today's video. But hey there's a bunch. Anyway it is the pre-evolution of Grimer and Muk known as Grimy. Grimy is the cutest little point type you're ever going to see. Like, Grimer is kind of hideous. I mean, it doesn't look too good at all. Muk also kind of hideous. But Grimy definitely has something about him. I love the fact he's just got one tooth and then loses it when it evolves to Grimer. I don't know why it's got a tooth. It just does. Um, but Grimy is a cool little Pokemon. It's just a poison type as well, just like Grimer and Muk. But yeah, Grimy just unfortunately didn't make the final cut. I wish it did because Grimy is just such a cute little Pokemon. I just lose it with the tooth, man. The tooth really steals my heart. But yeah, unfortunately, Grimy did not make Pokemon Gold and Silver. Finishing things off though for today's video as the final cancelled evolution is actually an evolution that should definitely have happened. And it's an evolution of Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd has been a huge meme since being released in Kanto, and ever since then we've always wanted it to have an evolution. Well actually, the case was that it was supposed to get an evolution in Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver, and that Pokemon was known as Madame, or Madame, or 
Madame or whatever. But as you can see on your screen right now, it is just a really cool looking Farfetch. I like the fact that it's got like the ninja kind of thing. It's not a dark type, it's still a normal flying. I think it should have been dark. I think dark and flying would have been really cool for this Pokemon. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. It just looks like a mean, more powerful Farfetch that I really, really wish did actually happen. Because it needs it, you know. Farfetch needs some sort of help. But unfortunately, wasn't the case. But hey, Madame, if you're still out there, pal, just make it into Generation 8 or something, please. I'm begging you. But with that, it does wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you did enjoy it, leave a like down below. Comment below which is your favorite cancelled evolution. And also, let me know if you want me to make another part two to this video. There's still a bunch more cancelled evolutions that I can definitely go over if you guys want to see it, including a scrapped Eevee evolution. Of course, subscribe if you're brand new because I do daily Pokemon content on this channel. I've got a couple other videos coming onto your screen in a second as well. Give them a watch if you enjoyed this video because I'm sure you'll enjoy them as well. That is everything from me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. Until next time, guys. Peace.